Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we'll drive down Michoud Boulevard in one of the nearby neighborhoods in New Orleans East. Michoud Boulevard was part of the planned New Orleans East community of the early 1970s and is the westernmost and only developed of three identical exits constructed along I-10. Mishi Boulevard actually runs mostly parallel to I-10, with the exit road running perpendicular to I-10 and Mishu Boulevard. Mishu dead ends at this exit road, and it appears that there may have been plans for an eastward continuation to intersect with the other two exits to the east. This area of Michu Boulevard is mostly undeveloped. This low-lying area flooded badly in Hurricane Katrina. On the right, a large apartment complex stood and was never re-inhabited after the hurricane. It was demolished sometime between 2009 and 2010. We turn left into the Oak Island subdivision. This neighborhood of small middle-class homes was developed in the 1980s. Hurricane Katrina floodwaters rose around seven feet in these houses. Parts of this neighborhood were never developed and dead-end streets at each end suggest that the original plan was for a larger development. Some of these houses have been completely removed. Some have been renovated, some have been elevated, and many are boarded up, seemingly untouched for the past 10 years. There is evidence of several inches of subsidence of the streets around the sewer manhole covers. Back on Michoud Boulevard, we approached the abandoned Six Flags New Orleans Amusement Park. Originally opened in the spring of 2000 as Jazzland, the park was not profitable and was up for sale by 2001. In 2002, Six Flags purchased the park and operated under the Jazzland name for a year. In 2003, the park was upgraded and renamed Six Flags New Orleans. In August of 2005, the park had entered the weekend only season. Its last operating day was August 21st. With the threat of Hurricane Katrina approaching, the park did not open for the weekend of August 27th and 28th as they prepared for the storm. The park was heavily damaged and was never able to reopen. The park is visible in the distance, but we don't go any further because there is a security vehicle at the gates ahead.
We end our drive today at US Highway 90, Chef Mentor Highway. Michio Boulevard continues into an industrial area, however it is blocked by a train today. At the end of the road is the NASA Michio Assembly Facility, one of the largest manufacturing plants in the world, used over the years by Chrysler, Boeing, and Martin Marietta for the construction of the Saturn rockets and the Space Shuttle external fuel tanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share and join us on our next 504 road trip.